In three words, I can sum up everything I have learned about life. It goes on. Hi, this is episode 3 of the series Authors and Their Works intended to add the spice in the answers of class 10 English board exam. Let's talk about the poets this time and start with my favorite poet Robert Frost. Yes, the poet of dust and snow and fire and ice was an American poet who used the iambic meter utilizing the structure found in odes, sonnets, heroic couplets and blank words to create a more conversational tone. One important and interesting thing that you can add in your answers is Robert Frost treats nature as a real part of life whereas other poets such as William Wordsworth treat nature mystically and spiritually. His notable works include The Gift of Trite, Stopping by the Woods on a Snowy Evening, Birches, The Mending Wall, The Road Not Taken and Nothing Gold Can Stay. He was honored with several awards like the Pulitzer Prize for Poetry, American Academy of Arts and Letters Gold Medal, United States Poet Laureate, Robert Frost Medal, Congressional Gold Medal and Bollingen Prize. Next up, let's talk about Leslie Norris, the poet of the poem A Tiger in the Zoo. His full name was George Leslie Norris and he was a Welsh poet and short story writer during the post-war period. He was honored with the Chomley Poetry Prize and AML Award for Poetry. His works include Finding Gold, The Loud Winder, Phoenix Living Poet Series and Norris's Ark. Carolyn Wells, the poet of How to Tell Wild Animals. She was an American mystery author who wrote in nonsense words and whimsical pieces. Her genre was poetry, humor, mystery and children books. Some of her works include Total 170 Books, The Best of My Life which is her autobiography, Fleming Stone Mysteries which includes The Clue and The Gold Bag, The Best American Mystery Stories of the Year. She also wrote for newspapers. And who is the poet of the Pearl Poem? John Berryman, right? He was an American poet during the second half of 20th century, whose writing style was a key figure in confessional school of poetry. The Dream Songs is one of his most famous work. He was honored with the awards like National Book Prize, Pulitzer Prize for Poetry and Bollingen Prize. Robin Clay, the poet of Amanda, was an Australian author. He wrote in the first person style. Some of his notable works are Hating Alison Ashley, Halfway Across the Galaxy and Turn Left, Came Back to Show You I Could Fly. Rat Bags and Rascals is a series of funny stories. Snakes and Ladders is poems about the ups and downs of life. Hereaways, All in the Blue Unlocked Weather, Penny Pollard Books and Think Books. The poet of the poem The Trees is Percival Everett who was an American writer. His genre was novels, short stories, poetry, children literature, etc. He wrote Western fiction, mysteries, thrillers, satire, and philosophical fictions. And amongst his best novels are Dr. No, Assumptions, So Much Blue, Telephone, and The Trees. And now let's talk about this little cute poem, Fog, written by Carl Sandburg. He was an American poet, biographer, journalist, and editor who wrote in free verse and pun like rhymes. His famous works are Chicago Poems, The People, Abraham Lincoln, Rutavaga Stories, etc. Please correct the spelling of Abraham Lincoln. He was honored with the Pulitzer Prize thrice and with the Robert Frost Medal. Orgen Nash, the poet of the poem Tale of Custard the Dragon. He wrote in light verse and humorous style and he was best known producer of humorous poetry as well. Some of his works include Faith is Similar and The Moon is Shining Bright as Day. Now it's your task to find about W.B. Eats. 
Remember, there is no shortcut. We can always make learning easier by organizing it. Go through these episodes while you prepare and see what magic they bring in your answers. Tune for more. Take care. Bye-bye.